Hey folks, my name is Jake and today we are taking a look at a Cyberpunk 2077 mod that lets you respec your character. Now, in the base game, you can actually respec your perk points by purchasing a very, very expensive item. However, there is no way to reset your attributes. This means that whatever you pick, you're just kind of stuck with that. Fortunately, this mod lets you respec your attribute points and reset your perk points, so you can experiment with different kind of builds. You can also save different builds and load them into new games to make a sort of new game plus mode. That's where this mod, Respector, comes into play. So if you have Cyber Engine tweaks installed, you can install Respector, and then when you hit the tilde key on your keyboard, you should get greeted by this menu right here. It it's not the prettiest looking menu, but it does exactly what we want it to do and it does it pretty simply, to be honest. So as you can see right here, you can either reset your perks or you can reset your attributes. I just did both for this video. Uh, I was playing as an intelligence build, but I kind of wanted to try out a full reflex blade build because, you know, that sounds pretty fun. So I reset all my attributes and then I reset my perks. Once I reset my perks, I was able to go into my perks menu and basically I had every single perk I had earned throughout the game just unused, which as you can see ended up at 58. So I pretty much just invested all the way into blades and then a little bit into cool to give myself a little bit of a stealthier side. Anyway, let's see how that plays out. to wait it out. Don't! Uh, uh. Oh. So as you can see, the blades are much better when you actually do invest in that, surprise, surprise. But what's more interesting about this mod is that you can actually save the different builds you create and load them up on the fly. So this lets you try out a bunch of different builds. It also, more importantly, or more interestingly, lets you transfer a build into a new game, which is more or less new game plus. Now, I believe you still have to start a new game and you can pick a different life path, you can create a new V, and then once you're there, you just load your old character. This also comes with all your crafting components, vehicles, etc. But you can also turn that stuff off. So if you don't want the items in your backpack or your equipped gear, whatever it might be, you don't have to take that with you. You can just take your specs as is. Now, I did have a little bit of an issue. I wasn't able to save uh, this spec. I only tried once so hopefully you won't run into that issue, but this is an issue that I ran into. One other thing worth mentioning is that if you plan on messing around with these mods, which I'll include links below, so if you wanna check them out, you can do that. You should always save your game before you start messing around with this stuff. I didn't have any issues. I messed around with this mod for about an hour, but you never know, right? It could brick your save or something like that. So just be careful and keep that in mind if you do try that. But anyway, let's mess around a bit with another build, which is a fist build, because that's something I would normally never invest in. We're gonna make a spec. I invested all into body, and then I put all my perks into Street Brawler, and let's see how this fares. <laughs> Ну чё там ещё? And there you have it. I got to roleplay as the strongest puncher or street brawler in Night City, which uh, was actually kind of fun. Uh, it's something that I didn't really seem that interested in initially, uh, but it was actually kind of fun. And more importantly, using this mod would probably help a lot if you want to do the street fighting missions, because those by themselves are pretty tough, especially if you don't have gorilla arms like I have right now. Hell, this mod could just be used in a way to slant your build a little bit to make you a little bit more proficient in fighting to help you get through those quests, because some of them are actually pretty tough. If you want to try out this mod on your own, I left a link to the page down below as well as a link to Cyber Engine Tweaks, which you will need installed in order to run this mod. If you're after more Cyberpunk 2077 content, make sure to subscribe and check out our comprehensive spoiler chat that just went live. See you next time.